Hello and welcome to the Coin Monitor. I am Manoj Dara. So, virtual digital assets or the VDA markets were trading mixed in the beginning of this week, absorbing the effects of the last week's sharp sell-off of the hawkish Fed comments. Bitcoin hovered around the crucial twenty-six thousand dollar levels. Well, we will, you know, we have witnessed a multiple shift in the market movement. That's what the analysts have said. And let me just simplify the the entire event sequence, which has caused the markets to lose its momentum in the past few weeks. So, if you remember, the first reason being the rising U.S. yields and the growing concerns in the China slowdown economy growth, along with the slit in the U.S. tech stock, have dampened the global financial markets, including the riskier assets such as the cryptocurrency markets. So, we have also observed that Bitcoin have plummeted from the from the highs of over thirty thousand dollar levels, and it has slid towards the twenty six thousand dollar levels after one of the largest markets, uh, market players such as Elon Musk, SpaceX has liquidated its Bitcoin holding, and this is the reason why, along with the broader selling, this was the event which has taken the market on the back seat. And the other reason being the ongoing legal battle between the XRP and the US SEC is still not come to an end. The market regulator is planning to appeal against the recent court ruling, and this is the big concern for the entire cryptocurrency market. If you remember, there was a there was a lot of optimism when this when when the SEC versus Ripple uh, ruling had come, and we have seen a surge in the cryptocurrency markets, and hence there is a broader concern when the SEC is appealing again. So, IC15 index of cryptocurrency was trading lower by 0.6 percent at 34,000 points. In an interesting news. With choppy action following Powell's remark at the Kansas City's Fed annual Jackson Hole symposium, stock and the bond prices also sank last week before a turnaround, which pushed both modestly higher. So, according to the CME Fed Watch tool, there was a possibility of a 54.5 percent chances that the Fed rate will increase by the mid-November. Investors also took a cue from analyst reports that suggested the cryptocurrency market is likely to stabilize in the near term. The JP Morgan Chase report attributes its outlook to a decline in the open interest in the CME Bitcoin futures contract, which is usually a signal weakening price trend. The global cryptocurrency market cap was hovering around one trillion dollar mark, dropping 0.6 percent in the last 24 hours. However, the total trading volume increased about 28 percent to 19 billion dollars. Moving on, Phoenix International has acquired Ethereum tokens worth 19.9 million dollars. The investment is in line with the company's plans to expand its business operations and diversify its revenue sources. Meanwhile, last week, the U.S. Treasury Department proposed a new cryptocurrency tax rules. Starting in 2026, crypto exchanges will have to submit annual reports on 1,099 forms to the IRS tax payer, showing gross proceedings from the transactions. In 2027, the companies will be required to report how much customers paid for the digital assets or the other cost basis. That's what they have to follow. Elsewhere, the altcoins such as Binance, Cardano, Solana, and others are seen gaining traction. However, Ripple's XRP continue to trend lower. Stock futures rose slightly to kick off the final trading week of the August futures tied to the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Rose 0.24 percent, while S&P 500 futures and the Nasdaq 100 futures gained 0.16 percent and 0.13 percent, respectively. If we talk about the largest cryptocurrency, which is Bitcoin, was trading at $25,920, down by 0.5 percent. Ethereum, the second largest crypto, was also trading lower by 0.5 percent, trading at $1,640. If we talk about the others, altcoin. On my left was Binance BNB, was trading lower. By 0.4 percent at $216. Next on the list was Solana Sol, was down by 0.2 percent at $20.4. Next was Cardano's ADA token, was down by 1.3 percent to trade at $0.26. Avalanche AVEX was next trading lower by 1.4 percent at $10. Doge, the popular meme coin, was trading down by 1.7 percent at $0.062. Next was. Shiba Inu was trading lower by 2.2 percent. Ripple's XRP token, as we have already mentioned, was trading lower by 2.2 percent at $0.51 dollars. Polkadot was down by 1.7 percent to trade at $4.5 dollars. However, Polygon Matic was seen trading higher by 0.7 percent at $0.55 dollars. Now let's move on to our technical analyst, Mr. Aditya Chakraborty, for his views on the entire cryptocurrency markets. Aditya, over to you. 
Leading cryptocurrencies are trading mixed in the beginning of the week, absorbing after effects of last week's sharp sell-off and hawkish Fed comments. Bitcoin hovered around the crucial $26,000 levels. I think Bitcoin price could start a decent uptrend if there's a close up of $26,200 and $26,500 levels. A downside break below the $25,400 level might push the price further lower. Though Bitcoin has been listless around $26,000 levels since falling over 10% last week, its annualized 7-day historical or realized volatility has cooled to 26% from nearly 60% seen early last week. Bitcoin's butterfly index, which gauges the relative richness of the out-of-the-money higher strike call options and lower strike put options by comparing Bitcoin volatility index DVOL with at-the-money ATM volatility, has risen to yearly highs. BTC butterfly index is near the upper 90%. The relative richness of out-of-the-money call and put options tied to Bitcoin suggests most traders are pricing in tail risk in the Bitcoin market. Thank you so much, Aditya, for sharing your views on the cryptocurrency market. That's all there is in this Coin Monitor. This is Manoj Dara signing off. But keep watching Thrill TV for more such interesting analysis and updates from the crypto world. Thank you. Three Auto TV stay connected with the world of blockchain. Stay up to date with infinite world of NFTs. Come explore and evolve with Three Auto TV in the metaverse. So many coins, so much volatility. Three Auto TV delivers the news that matters.